since EA have gotten the rights to the UFC games, they haven't really hit the right note until UFC 3. They've made huge improvements, especially to the striking game that makes it one of the most impressive and satisfying toe-to-toe, -to -toe, fist to fist foot-to-foot, knee-to-knee, elbow-to-elbow games I've ever played. Uh, it's just unfortunate that the simulation, or should I say the submission part of it, falls a little bit short and a bit frustrating and dull. Um, as I said, the fist-to-fist -fist combat, the uh, ground and pound, whatever way you want to put it, is really, really good. And it feels like EA notice because you, on top of the basic five minute rounds or whatever else you have you have knockout mode and you also have like a standing striking mode where there are no knockdowns or you can't sort of grapple them from the ground once you knock them down they got to get back up until they can't get up no more and um, well probably the most fun and arcadey style one is the knockout mode where each you each player has a health bar and in that health bar you've got to just knock them down and it's a best of three or whatever way you want to do it um, and it's a lot of fun, Do you know, get a two player going, get the other player to pick up the controller, it's very easy, the button I was playing on Xbox One, so the X and the Y are the fist, the A and the B are the kicks, uh, the modifiers don't need to be used essentially, but they could be, and um, it's quite easy to explain things, so if you're trying to explain the full game where it's like, hey submission, this is how you go into a half, this is how you sort of transition into this move and that, and it's just not a lot of fun to explain, so the fact that there's that ground and blitz, like, sorry, the the stand and fighting part and the knockout mode adds a lot to the just pick up and play fun to it. Another thing they have drastically improved on is the career mode. You can obviously create your own fighter or you can take one from the roster and build them up through the low ranks, the amateur leagues um, and then all the way up to the UFC and up to the main event. Um, and you can see that you, you have these options to build your career in certain ways. So you have a fight and you have six weeks to a fight, you can choose what you do with those weeks. There is given a set number of points and different things give you different attributes. So you can improve, say, skills. You can spar an opponent uh, to learn what your upcoming opponent will fight like and maybe give some tips of, hey, maybe go for some uppercuts because he doesn't block his chin or go for some kicks or keep your distance or take him down or whatever else. And learning these things can be a great way of knowing how to approach your opponent in the upcoming bout, which actually adds some variety to the matches. You could also just spend your whole time promoting the match and gain fans and potentially earn more money that way, you know, like the Conor McGregor way. But other than that, the submission game is still kind of weak. It just feels a bit limp compared to the rest of the game. Same for the submission mode. But if you are looking for that hard-hitting, great-looking... UFC experience, UFC 3 is probably the best UFC games have ever been and it looks incredible. This was reviewed on Xbox One X and it's just such a good game for fans. For rest, like fighting fans, like fighting game fans, there's obviously more, probably better experiences out there, but for UFC purists, it's never been better.